All right, so anyway, my range extender, which is an almond, seems to be acting up on me. So I purchased this one here off of Amazon for only $29. So we're gonna try this baby out. First, I gotta read all about it, and then we will see how she works. It's supposed to be very simple. Set up and easy to use. So we'll find out if that's true or not. All right, so let's check it out. What we've got to do is we've got to plug this into a, a plug that's close to the router. The router's right here. And, uh, and then we have to wait for uh, this to turn solid, to stop blinking. So we're going to go ahead and plug it in here. Bam. And we're just going to wait. And we got a solid, uh, we got a solid on there. So that's good. That's what we want. Okay, this process takes a little while, so you got to be patient. You got to let those lights come through and fill up. So just wait. To a solid, indicating successful connection. So it's still blinking, but it's definitely connecting to some of the stuff on here. And it looks like we may have a solid connection. Let's take a look. All right, that looks good. I think we may have uh, figured out how to do it. <laughs> All right, so that seems to be right. Which, if you look, we're at blinking to solid, so that looks good. All right, now, the relocation, all right? So, plug in the extender about halfway between the router and the dead Wi-Fi area. Wait about two minutes until the LED turns solid green. If it doesn't, relocate the extender closer to the router. So that right there is the part on here. That we need to go green when we plug it in downstairs. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. We're looking good here. We got a solid, solid, solid here, that's good. And all we gotta do is take it downstairs and try it out. All right, so go ahead and pull it off of here. Gonna take her downstairs, plug her in, and uh, should work. All right, that little Wi-Fi thing has to turn green, so we're gonna plug it in here. This is kind of close to the router. We'll see what happens. And I'm getting a red signal there. That red uh, button above the Wi-Fi tells me that it's not connecting to the router. So we got to find a closer spot. So I pulled it off there and I found one a little bit closer to the router and I plugged it in. And uh, let's see if we can get a good connection here. So we got to see that little Wi-Fi thing on there. It's got to get a green bubble just above it. And uh, right now it's working towards that. Let's see what happens. And bam, there we are. We got our green bubble above our Wi-Fi. That means that we're connected. Now all we got to do is see if it works on our TV. Let's try it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to connect this uh, range extender to our Roco TV. And the first thing I got to do is get the control uh, and turn it to settings. I got to pop up. And I'm going to slide over to network. Click on that. And I'm going to go down to uh, uh, setup network. So I'm, I've got an almond that's not working good. So we're going to go to setup connection, click on that wireless, bam. And now it's going to scan. It's going to look for stuff. And if you remember, this is going to be called the name of the router extension. So we got to drop down one. We're going to click on that. And uh, bam, I got to put a password in. I'm not going to let you see me do that. So I'm going to go ahead and put the password in. Okay, so now I've entered my password uh, onto it. All I got to do is click connect, and there it is, wireless connection, internet connection, and uh, let's see if we can get on there. Takes a couple seconds to do it. Bam, bam. All right, we're in. All right, let's check, check it out. Yep, it looks wireless. It's excellent. Uh, wireless channel one, bam, done. Now we just got to go back and test it and see if we can watch a movie. So let's go ahead and we're going to click back. And we're going to go back to home and uh, whoops, we're going to go home and I'm going to go to Netflix. I'm going to click on Netflix 